the, the big issue for me is that uh, she... Because you know we're talking about almost complimenting it, right? Um, I don't think it's particularly... There's a lot of complaints I could have about all the logistics of it, but I was kind of happy to see that she was in prison. I was like, hey, consequences. Consequences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, there they are. Hello. And then, you know, Mallory Book is like, you're insane about, you know, like, oh, we got to punish those people who released my sex tape. It's like, woman, you put several lives in danger. You destroyed a whole building. Like, we've got things to do for you. We've got to sort out your case. I was like, oh, my God, this show. What are you doing? I don't, I don't feel like I'm watching the same show. And then, of course, she's like, repercussions. You've been let off everything, but you can't be She-Hulk anymore. And I was like, wow, she is lucky to not go to prison for any amount of time. She's just got a weirdly inhibitor. That's amazing for her. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Um, and then the show's like, oh, so sad, you know, oh, it's so mean. And then she's like, oh, this is like a low point, but it doesn't feel deserved. And I'm just like, okay. And then she climbs out of her own universe to make everybody in the universe forget that she did anything bad to put all the bad guys. I can't believe she wrote it so that Emil goes back to prison instead of just writing it so that Emil's a good person. <laughs> because, because he's he, got to he take actually tries, for his actions. He, he actually tries to protect her during that climactic battle scene. He's yeah. like picking her up, pull, pulling her out of harm's way. It's like, doesn't that demonstrate that he's a good guy? And, like, you know, he shouldn't really be punished for this stuff. But no, it's like, he's a dude, so he's got to be held accountable for his actions. It's like, where is your fucking accountability? You just get to rewrite entire realities yeah, around yourself it. to fucking fix your own narcissistic personality. It's, she yep. says at the end, and it, I was, because I was watching it with, uh, with Rags, and I was like, I legitimately don't actually understand if this is, like, intentional or not. She says, if you harm people... Like, I'm coming for you, and you will be held accountable for, like, the, you will get the consequences of your actions. Like, you literally did that to people. You had consequences, and then you erased them because you didn't like them. Like, you what are the, the person what, you're Yeah, what the about. show meant was, if you harm people and you're a man, I'm coming for you. Yeah. But, well, like, absolutely, it's worse than that. Absolutely they brain mean, dead. They mean the criticism to the show. That's yes. who she's... That, that's a yeah. message to people outside. Because this entire I, I, last episode was about accountability and responsibility for everyone that's not her. But that yeah. message yeah. right at the end was that was at people that didn't like the show. Yeah, they had and the, the, the imagine show. You that. You criticized the show. I'm coming for you. Well, mm -hmm. here's yeah. Well, here's a here's an article that uh, that pretty much describes this entire mentality perfectly. Just uh, allow me to show you. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Variety, <laughs> the source of all things good in the world. Fair oh. and balanced reporting. So, the She-Hulk team explains the fourth wall breaking finale and delivering a fuck you to toxic Marvel trolls. Okay. Because how dare you criticize this glorious thing that we have made. Um, so, yeah, throughout this, the, the entire show, Jennifer Walters repeatedly breaks the fourth wall by not only directly addressing Kamala, but acknowledging that she exists in a Marvel Studios show. In the season finale, uh, sorry, in the season finale, uh, Jennifer smashes out of the show directly, uh, jumping through the Disney Plus portal to confront the writers of the show about why the finale is so needlessly convoluted and extraneous. Okay, great. Including one about a toxic cabal of fanboys who troll Jennifer online about being a female superhero who doesn't deserve her powers. This is so fucking interesting because it's like... Imagine preemptively hating the fans of your show. Imagine knowing that what you produced was so shit that people were going to criticize it. And so you wrote that criticism into the show itself. Mm hmm. Like, imagine that. Imagine just thinking that's the way to tackle this instead of just, you know, creating a good show in the first place. Like, that's the best way to silence your critics, actually producing something good. But when you don't I mean, actually have the creative ability to do that, well, the easiest way is to just lash out, you know? It doesn't even make sense for She-Hulk, because they're like, oh, it's so difficult in the modern day to get a female superhero out. It's like, but She-Hulk's been around since 1980. No one cares about And she's she popular. This is the thing, like, uh, you know, the She-Hulk character within the comics, at least in her heyday, was a popular one because she was flirty, she was understanding of why people were reading the comic, um, and it was fun as a result. This is disastrous. I mean, here's you know, here's a good quote from Tatiana Maslany. She says, "Jessica Gao is a genius." I can't get it out. <laughs> we should put that in the show. I might laugh. <laughs> She's a genius. Yeah, would have got a laugh. 
I, I knows about the culture that we're living in and her position in it when she's writing these stories about a woman superhero. She knows what that response is going to be. As a cast, mm. it was delightful sending each of these, uh, each other these troll responses like, oh my god, give them a week and then they're going to literally see this pop up verbatim in the show and become the villains of the show. It was thrilling. That's the mentality. It's like, we know that uh, people aren't going to like what we've produced because it's shit and we can't wait to humiliate them because of that and we're just going to write them into the show. Yeah, we but the reason why it was in the show and people were saying it is because it was true. Like, they, one of the lines in one of the earlier episodes they put is that uh, She-Hulk was a diversity hire at the law office. That's a fact. She was hired yeah. because she was She-Hulk yes. and that's what they <laughs> needed. She wasn't hired for a talent. It, it was, um, what, it, affirmative action is the way they termed it. So like, oh, well, these people said it on the internet, and, and so uh, we put it in the show. Yeah, but you're just explaining what your show is in the show, and then uh, somehow claiming they're bad because they pointed it out. And this this whole expectation of, like, women get this, this response, just like, so, Marvel, you're the guys who didn't realize it was possible until DC did it with Wonder Woman. And where was, like, the internet troll? Where were the comments from Wonder Woman in the film? When he, like when she was in World War One, we were the comments of being like, "I already know people are gonna hate me, toxic man online." Like they're gonna get you. It's like, nope. They just told a story. People really liked it, and then Marvel were like, "Oh shit, we can put women in movies." I didn't realize. Okay, well, we'll try that in now. the early days of the Avengers, like where was the criticism of Black Widow? Where were people saying like, "Oh god, I hate this character. She's so fucking annoying." Like, no, she was cool, and people liked her. Where was right, the criticism it, of Wanda back in the feels day? Feels self fulfilling, like. We're gonna get ahead of it. Do you remember this, that character? God, this triggered the fuck out of me, because I was just like, you serious? We've gotten to this point. There's a character in the evil men meeting who says, it's not that she's female, it's that she, I've got lots of criticisms of a character that I would even if she was a guy. They present that as though yeah. it's like a sexist comment. I was like, if you have a character say, you know what, two plus two is four, Wow, look, the evil guy said that. <laughs> and it's like, what, what, are you, what are you doing? It reminds me of uh, Stormfront, right? Where she's like critical of the script in the boys season two, and it's like, what? Why does? Why are you making the Nazi the one that does that? What? What is this? <laughs> I don't understand. I, surely that's something they would want, and it's funny because I'm sitting there like, oh, that's kind of. I'm sure I've said something like that in the past. It's like, yeah, because I am hypercritical of the male characters when they fuck up. Like I, I just did the video about Doctor Strange. My section on him was like 40 minutes of just ripping into every decision he's made in Phase Four. Well, here's another one, another quote here. There's so much resistance to a woman just existing in that space of superheroes. There's always going to be that. I sort of anticipated. That's why I feel it's important. There's such an entitlement to space held by certain people, and to even exist as She-Hulk is like a fuck you, and I love that. Wow, like, in, in present day, um, you know, being having a female superhero leading your story, wow! In Marvel, that's a fucking like revolution, isn't it? Like basically every fucking movie is about that at this point. Every TV show is about that. Like how how is this, that this, this how is, is that some brave new act? That's like that's like these fucking celebrities that go online now now and be like, um, oh, I, I think Donald Trump's an asshole. Wow, that's fucking stunning and brave at this point, isn't it? It's like literally what every celebrity said for the past six years. You ain't, like a, you ain't changing the world with this shit, and you ain't taking any risks with it. And so many people have been dunking on the show for just like, so Intelligentsia's grand plan was putting up a sex tape and saying she's a slut. Like, oh. Well, but that's what the show made her, though. Mm -hmm. The show even calls her a slut. I mean, you gave them the ammunition, they just fired yes. it. Like, yes, I don't you, know. You, you, you had to fuck three guys in four episodes. All I don't know why she, uh, she, like, so you know how um, there was this theory, um, Fring was telling me about it, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's quotes out there that you can find, but the uh, the first episode was supposed to be episode 8, or at least the episode between the finale and the one before that, which if you look at the order now, it makes sense, because we watch her slowly get to the final point where she rages out and all the public are looking at her in fear and she's got all the guns on her. If we then had the episode where we get her origin of her powers and Hulk, it ends with Hulk saying, like, once they see you as a monster, there's no coming back from it. It's like, oh, see? So, like, how that, how he's right the whole time. But now I'm starting to wonder, it's like, did they did they know they've done this? Like, no. that Bruce was correct? The, and, and not only was he correct about that, he was correct about the fact that she has no handle on her anger. When someone reveals to the world, guys, I know this is going to be tough for you. When someone reveals to the world, oh, you've had sex. I know that you, your, your reaction probably shouldn't be, I'm going to kill everyone. Like, that, that's, they, that's not a wise choice. They saw it entirely differently. 
Uh, that scene where she's holding that guy and you're like, they're going to kill her. That's supposed to be what everyone else thinks, but she's actually meant to be in control of herself the entire time. Uh, like you said, in the first episode, there's a bit where she transforms into him and Hulk's really like smog as if, haha, you've lost control. She's like, no, I'm doing this. I'm entirely in yeah. control. The, the idea is that she's always in control. It's just everyone else, all the men around her, think she's well, you, out of you, control all of the time. Yeah, so th you establish a moral precedent for that then, where you can't excuse anything that she does in that form as like, well, she's out of control because she's the Hulk. Nope, you've told us that she's in control. Yes. She knows exactly what she's doing and any damage that she causes, any harm that she causes to people, that is entirely blameable on her. Echo, yeah, uh, they echoed. said one of the messages that they want to get across is <clears throat> that the way society... Uh, judges men and women's anger differently and so when she's at like a five anger she will get judged more harshly than hulk when he's at a 10 is that's and that's just, what that's meant to be it's not even close to true but uh, uh the other no, thing i think well, that makes you correct on this by the way as an interpretation is if you remember when she's judged for this in the prison she says uh i was angry and then she's like and i think it would be reasonable for anybody to be as angry as i was in that situation or something like that and i was just like really mm -hmm. Really? What you what you did? You think that was reasonable? <laughs> that's what that's what a lot of people would do. I just it would have been so cool to have a character be like, look at the screen, look back at the audience, look at the screen again, and be like, yeah, I yeah. But the, the, well, <laughs> this is the this is the same logic and this is the same morality that they apply to Wanda, that they apply to um, Black Widow, like with mm -hmm. the with mm -hmm. her mother in law, like performing all those illegal experiments. It's basically morality goes out the window when a woman does it. And it's okay in the eyes of yep. Marvel. Uh, they're not subject to the same moral judgments as as anyone else, and they expect you to just swallow that. And they don't realize how fucking destructive that is uh, until you actually say it out loud. It's so ridiculous.